What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Once Tap here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Banana Guard and Multiverses. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Banana Guard, some best strategies you need to be using, best perks, fun combos, and more. Without further ado, let's get into it. Subscribe here for more Multiverses content and let's talk about Banana Guard. I'm gonna be real with you guys, <laughs> Banana Guard is a very simple, straightforward character. There's not a ton to go over, so the biggest tricks I have for you regarding his moveset is his down attack on the ground breaks armor. Keep that in mind when your opponent uses a lot of armor. And technically a side attack doesn't necessarily necessarily break armor in of itself, but it is a multi-hitting attack, so it definitely can break armor if timed right. You can charge the up attack, so make sure you do that if you want to time them falling down into the attack like this. Don't forget, Banana Guard buffing up with his neutral special. The buff up right here lasts about six seconds or so, so keep that in mind. And you can do that anywhere on screen. You can jump away and do this, kind of like Shaggy going Super Saiyan. The best time I find to do that is if your opponent is, of course, far away, or you simply ring him out. And then before they can spawn, go in and just power up real quick. Now, for those that don't know, while you're powered up, your next six seconds or so, you do more damage and more knockback. And Banana Guard's already got some really good, strong knockback moves, like a side special. So doing that while you're buffed up is gonna be huge. If they're 100% right now, yeah, they're dead, dude. A note regarding his down special on the ground is crying here. You might be wondering why, why does that even exist? What does that even do? You gotta be really close for it to even hit. And it's not super strong either, but the biggest thing about it, it actually enrages your allies. So you can see we have an ally right here. We're gonna go ahead and cry and enrage our teammate here. And now they have more damage and knockback as well. So that's kind of Banana Guard's move for duos. Those are really the biggest tips and tricks regarding his moveset. Now let's go ahead and talk about his best killing option. Honestly, his side attack is just really strong, even in the air. His up special, of course, on the ground and in the air is also great. Both of those are really good options to kill for mostly anywhere on the screen. Of course, we have his down air, his slam dunk. And any of those are gonna be even stronger when he's buffed up like this. His down special in the air is not bad when you land. It does do pretty good knockback and that can kill at higher percentages. But I do think that side special and up special are gonna be a little bit better. The down special is gonna be used in other situations. But again, when you're buffed up like that, man, it's really good. With all that being said, as you can see, Banana Guard is an absolute menace when he's buffed up. So you really wanna be lifting those weights as much as possible. His charged up attack, of course, is good, especially when charged. That has pretty good kill potential as well. So those are my favorite options when it comes to kill moves for Banana Guard. Some good combos that you can start off with Banana Guard is again, that side attack cancel into side special. Cause again, a lot of times they'll try to dodge out of that or move out of that. And they'll end up just dodging into your side special. If you don't want to cancel the side attack, you can just do side attack and then immediately side special like this. Go for a charge up attack and then up special so they fall into that. And you can do that for any move. You can do like side attack, down attack, side attack, up attack, side attack, up attack, up special. The side attack double stab into another move is just a really good way to start any combo. Now let's go ahead and talk about his neutral game. What do you want to do in neutral? Like where do, you, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Banana Guard is a bruiser. And besides trying to get buffed up like this and far away from your opponent, he really just wants to be in your opponent's face. So a big thing you might want to do, especially in neutral, is get your opponent away from you with a strong move like side special, immediately go for a buff up. That way, by the time they get back to you, you're buffed up. Any strong move to get your opponent away from you to then allow you to get buffed up is gonna be a really good strategy. Cause then it's like, oh, boom, dead. As you can see, he uses his spear for almost every single move possible. So you're like slashing, you're going up, you're swinging it. But Anagard is a really in your face kind of character. So the neutrals kind of like defending yourself with your spear. Do I need to swing down and break armor? Do I need to do a side special, get him away from me? Then get buffed up really quick. But Anagard's biggest talking point, I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record here, but is getting that buffed up move. You want that on you as much as possible for as most of the game as possible. Also, don't forget his side attack. It's one button, but does three hits, but you don't have to do all three hits. You can actually do two hits and then cancel. And that can really catch your opponent off guard if they're trying to like dodge out of that, for example. If you need to cover a lot of area around you, you can do his neutral attack and charge it. And that covers up and in front of you and is pretty good knockback. So that's Banana Guard's generic game plan, his strategy, his tips for his moves. Let's talk about perks. Banana Guard's two signature perks are as such. The Iron Temple, which gives Banana Guard a large projectile shield around himself while he is working out. But it does take him longer to actually get fully charged. The next one, Icy Tears, simply Banana Guard's cry is apply ice. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't use the cry move that often and the range on it is not the greatest. So I find that the Iron Temple is a lot better because you're trying to get buffed up the entire match mostly. This takes a little bit longer to get 
can charge it up, yes, but this way your opponent can't like projectile you out of it. So if they are far away, you have that time, yes, then you can't be like shot out of it. Now for side perks, Banana Guard is on the ground a lot, as you can tell. He's like running with the spear, he's stabbing with the spear. So protective momentum is great because it says right here, you gain a projectile shield after running on the ground in the same direction for at least 0.5 seconds. You're doing that with the stabbing, you're doing that with the spear run. So getting that projectile shield quite often throughout the match is actually really helpful. A lot of perks that revolve around projectiles, you don't really need because Banana Guard doesn't really have any. If you're playing duos though, I wouldn't blame you for using Pierce and Motivations just for that damage boost and he's already got good damage anyways. So the second perk, I wouldn't blame you for using Speed Force Assist. That is the one it already gives you, but Banana Guard could always use some more speed. Although I like to use the new perk, Airwalker. This is the perk that spawns a platform beneath you when doing a neutral dodge in the air. And why I like to do this is I want to get away from my opponent, have that platform where they can't reach me and then get buffed up. You can see how I want to do that a lot of the time. The only downside of using this, of course, is it uses half of your dodge meter, but you're not really dodging a ton anyways, or at least you shouldn't be. You're being a more aggressive banana guard player. You're not trying to dodge a ton. So you should have dodge meter most of the fight anyways. And as banana guard is a bruiser, it's so hard for me to want to try these other perks because that increased damage is just, it's just so good for a character like banana guard. You can build these perks just around damage purely and that's totally cool. And I've sometimes found myself using armor killer because your side attack that triple hit spear move, if you hit an enemy that's trying to use armor, this will of course stop them from using that armor. So at the end of the day, my full load out here is starting signature perk is the iron temple, protective momentum, air walker, that way I have more time to get buffed up and just increase damage, man. I want that more damage. Let me know your thoughts in the comments of banana guard. What do you think of him? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Do you main him? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more multiverses and other fighting game content. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more multiverses news, guys, tutorials, and more.